If you had a large enough yacht and you were looking for a tender that could give you and your guests the ultimate ride, then what sort of boat would you want? I would want something that I could be confident could handle some pretty gnarly weather because after all, what is the point of enjoying the sea if you can only go out in calm weather conditions? Plus, we already know that the weather doesn't hold off just because we have somewhere to go. This is Stormbird, an 11 meter offshore speedboat that is built to be used in the sort of conditions that would keep most boats either tied up alongside or hidden away in tender garages. Let's just take a look at Stormbird before we see her in action. Hole number one is powered by twin Suzuki 350s. As we pan round to her port side, you will notice that she has an all round fender that the builder has told me can be replaced in part if you have a mishap whilst bringing her alongside. The solid gunnels along with the handrail give you extra peace of mind if you find yourself having to move to the bow in heavy sea states or as you blast through the water at over 30 knots. And stay tuned because in a few minutes you are going to see some exclusive footage of Speedbird in action. Up on the bow we have two extremely durable and comfortable seats, primed for anyone who is brave enough to want a front seat view of nature as you comfortably glide over the waves. Note also the two steps which conceal some great storage space. These steps are also great for when you are manoeuvring this boat in tight spaces. The front windscreen offers an unobstructed view of what is in front of you. As we enter the cockpit from the stern, we are met by six suspension mounted seats, each of which is perfectly positioned for the lucky passengers. And now we come to my favourite part of any boat, the helm position. Here we have the boat's entertainment system. Moving to port we have a Raymarine touchscreen display that shows AIS targets in 3D relative to the boat's position. Moving down we have the boat's fly-by-wire engine controls. It is worth pointing out here that you can close the front windscreen in order to give you and your passengers protection from the elements. I love this steering wheel. It has been custom made to the owner's requirements and has a Brody knob for quick steering inputs for when you are maneuvering in tight spots or at high speed. To the starboard side of the wheel are the two throttles for the 350 Suzuki outboard engines. Stormbird is hole number one of the X-Class range of luxury and high performance craft which are built by Ultimate Boats. And what makes this boat really unique is that she has a patent pending hull design that means her passengers enjoy a comfortable ride even when ploughing through Galfall 7-8 conditions. And check out this subtle and indirect lighting in the overhead. What a great atmosphere this lighting must produce when you are aboard Stormbird as you're racing across the pitch black sea at night. But now, let's see Stormbird in action.
So that was Stormbird, hole number one of Ultimate Boats X-Class Power Boats. If you want to find out more about the X-Class, then I would add a link to Ultimate Boats website in the comment section below this video. But before you go, let's us just quickly talk about that patent pending hull. It was designed by John Moxham, an engineering legend who has designed hulls for the RNLI and the UK Special Forces. Now, those with a keen eye might have noticed that during those high-speed turns, there was hardly any leaning to starboard. And that was the so-called Moxham retaining rails in action. In fact, the owner's son also told me that when he went out in Gale Force 7 conditions, there was hardly any vertical lift as the boat went over the waves. Again, that is down to the hull's outstanding design. He 
You know, I have had the honour of serving in both the Royal Navy and the RNLI. So I've been on some pretty impressive boats. But there was something about this X-Class which made me feel incredibly safe as we went through those high speed turns to starboard. The boat is incredible and I can see why the company is called the ultimate boat company. If you would like to see some more footage, then by becoming a member of my channel, you will get to see the bonus footage from this sea trial. Click on the link that is going to appear now to find out more about becoming a member of my channel. Please also don't forget to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel. I also now have a free newsletter which you can sign up to via the link in the comment section. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.